welcome to Lighthouse Yoga and Acupuncture and our presentation of Half Locust. So here we'll get started on the back on the bent corpse pose, Swara Shavasana. Can let the hands rest on the abdomen or out wide. And just a really nice pose to get into your breathing here. Prepare yourself for these back bends. It's also a really nice place to end your practice. So you can come back here full circle when you're through. Getting the knees coming in slowly toward the chest and give the legs a hug. Rocking a little bit. And of course, take your time with this transition over the knees. Making your way to your downward dog and getting yourself a few breaths, get a good sense. Make some transitions here to the ground from the knees, abdomen, chest. Right, and same way you come back up from the knees, hips rising gently. Forward plank, nice and solid, knees. Keep the chest open, shoulders free. Come up this cobra and ground the tops of the feet, thighs engaged, palms ground, and nice and easy, just briefly coming up. And again, you can transition from the knees, moving the hips back, get a little more power from the thighs and the core to make these transitions. If you can manage the single transition bigger back bend perhaps, let that be your, your practice. And we'll make uh, these transitions here to the ground and get started with these locust poses. Toes pointing, right, arms by your side and a special attention to your chin. Make sure the face is on the ground, the pinky fingers just tucked underneath the thighs as you make your way through, and grounding the opposite leg, pointing, nice solid, strong thigh, straight through the knee. And so again, those kneecaps are lifted, and you can feel the, the quads really powerful. And the pointing and the flexing of your foot. See how that goes for you, right? bending and straightening the knee. Always give yourself a little time to relax, breathing in, breathing out. And just to remind you, glutes are strong, so those quads, the buttocks, are really working together, working in tandem, giving you all the support that you need. Again, the left leg is grounding while the right leg is lifting there. You can, you can feel a little elevation in the hip. Nobody's going to come in. Uh, call the yoga cops on you. Make sure just to keep that opposite leg really rooted. Right? So if you're lifting those hips, of course, this is full salapasana. Other variations for the arms, of course, but lifting both legs at the same time. Salapasana, full locust. Ardha, of course, half locust. Ardha meaning half. This is a really crucial action, this, this squeeze of the thighs. I'm trying to ground the front of the thigh, arch the back, let the hips pop up. Might not be as significant a lift. You can get a feeling there. And then that's going to be your support for the full half locust supported. And doing my level best there not to put pressure on that foot. Right, just a little bit of a prop, kind of a reminder. That's where your leg is trying to clear that height. It's going to angle in a little bit. So watch the right leg here as it comes in. It's got to slant slightly to the midline. This is significant. Reminding you, right, balance is definitely a key factor here.
so here we're going to take the rest so feel free rewind the video watch in detail you know mute me so that you can you know focus on some of the details make up your your own mind see some interpretations about what you found there and just loosening the back here a little swinging the leg side to side you know and, and really moving gently mindfully there and of course I turn my head so make sure to balance the neck and sometimes we get tempted we want to come back all the way to child's pose after these deeper back bends these, these kind of significant movements and and it happens that the lower back will cramp of course so you can always move into a complementary pose sometimes counter poses but this is a really wonderful place to let everything get settled. You know, if you don't need to stretch in the other direction, work out any kinks or cramps, it's a great place just to feel the breath. It's a wonderful pose, Vajrasana, a diamond pose, meditative posture, great place to reset after a back bend, really all the back bends, camel pose, bow pose. It's a wonderful place to re capture the breath and enjoy your body. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope this has been helpful. And we'll see you soon. Peace.